back in episode 904, so we had a special episode 905 that released last week with Jeremy Butcher from Apple, which was wonderful to have. And I, I hope you all listened and learned as much about uh, Apple's uh, uh, business essentials. There it is. I think they're doing a great thing there where they merge support and all that. So a week ago in episode 904, we were talking, I was talking about in cool stuff found, I was talking about my new Neato D10 robot vacuum, uh, which we're still loving. And I mentioned how I ran it at night at 3 a.m., but only works for people that don't sleep on the same floor of the house that their vacuum is on because, you know, you don't want that thing roaming around in your um, you know, in your, in your bedroom while you're trying to sleep. Well, Rob has an answer and it might even be a better way of doing it anyway. So Rob says, uh, I, I'm not sure if this would work with your model of RoboBack. It, it will. Uh, I'll, and I'll talk about that, but, uh, he says with, uh, with my Roomba, he says, I have it integrated with IFT, I have TTT and have an automation set for when I leave my home geofence with my iPhone, the vacuum runs. And when it notices that I have returned to my home geofence, it tells the vacuum to stop running and dock itself into the base. Might want to consider doing that. He says our dogs go ballistic at night mm -hmm. when we are in the bedroom trying to sleep downstairs and the vacuum tries to run upstairs. Just a thought. Yeah. I, and what's in, really interesting is basically the same day the that uh, Rob wrote this. I got a notification on my phone from uh, from the A Lady app from you know Amazon's uh, Al Exa, and uh, it was offering to do the same automation and geofence my vacuum to do exactly the same thing. So uh, I, you could do it with Ift, obviously, but uh, the Amazon app will also do a geofenced sort of thing for you. Uh, so that's I like that idea. Run the vacuum when you're not home. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 